Clytus, I'm bored. What plaything can you offer me today? An obscure body in the SK system, Your Majesty. The inhabitants refer to it as the planet Earth. I like to play with things a while before annihilation. Pathetic Earthlings! Who can save you now? Rush! Mr. Belvedere will be right back. Mr. Belvedere will be right back. Mr. Belvedere will be right back. This PBS. <laughs> this PBS. <laughs> this PBS. little bottom boys we're gonna do a little song right now but first I'd just like to say that it's really great to be here I mean it really is it's 
<laughs> it's real good. To, good God, it's good to be here. I, I don't know where to begin to tell you. God damn, it's good to be here. But anyways, this is a little song that, that I wrote, and I'm going to play it for you right now, and I hope that you like it. It goes a little something like this. Yeah. Long-legged woman, where have you been all my life? We should have went bowling to make my wife, wife, wife. Play some Skinner, man. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. For our next song, I think we're going to... Well, <laughs> well we're gonna do that. hello, Larry. <laughs> Larry you talk like to people that. all day for a living. Of course, 
the one, the only, Channel 48. This is Field Communications in Philadelphia. The time now is 6.51 a.m. and then we are on the microphone and let's get this thing started. Hershey Bar, one of the old time greats. Hershey. Hershey. When you want pure milk chocolate, with or without almonds, nothing but a Hershey bar will do. One of the old-time greats. What can I really say about... Okay, I also said to you guys that I'm going to go... I'm going to uh, talk about Dalmatian more. We're going to waver that. We'll see how this conversation goes. No, let's waver that a little bit. Turn this down. Because I got, I got something else. Let's, let's listen to some music or something like that. No, we're going to waver that. You know? <clears throat> we're going to waver that. And, uh, because it's, it's so much I want to talk about Channel 48. I mean, it's that damn simple. There's so much I want to say about Channel 48. Is our situation here. Is our situation. Did y'all really enjoy um, the animation? Um, um, Tracy and Tina. Did y'all really enjoy Tracy and Tina? Tracy and Tina is our first mermaids. Mermaid animation around here. And I know everybody has a little mermaid. And they have a... A, a new Little Mermaid coming out, and she's a black girl. She's Afro American. So the white uh, Little Mermaid is out, and the black Little Mermaid is in. So they got an Afro American hair fish. It's called, well, Will Smith was a fish too. So, and, you know, they want to make niggas fishes and shit. So I don't know why. I don't know. Don't ask me. Why they want Negroes to be fish? I don't know. I don't know. Um, confusing. First they were panthers, then you know, then then uh, uh, jungle boogie and shit. Now fish. Anything better than that band shit? You know, you know the, the, the band, <laughs> the, the the drum, the band thing, the marching band thing. But anyway, um, enough of torture talk. Let's talk about the. Uh, uh, t um, Jesus Christ. If you're searching for something for your little girls and boys, and you're finding high prices but not finding toys, and you're sad, and you're blue, and your ties running around, the little kitty city turned that frown upside down. Hey everybody, guess what's up? They up the fresh and freshen up. They up the fresh. Up up the fresh, up up the fresh. How'd they up it? With new flavor waves for more refreshing flavor through the gum. Oh, I love. Liquid center too. More refreshing flavor. They up the fresh and freshen up. They up the fresh. Up up the fresh, up up the fresh. New freshen up with flavor waves. They up the fresh. Repair. Our cottage needs repair. Color Tile can show you how to do it. I declare. At Color Tile, we specialize in helping you to modernize. <laughs> we have wallpaper paint. We've got gorgeous tile galore to brighten up a kitchen, to beautify your floor. In your bathroom, on a wall, in your entry dinner hall, in any kind of room, large or small, we've got a world of great ideas. Wall to wall. Color Tile. Color Tile has it all. See yellow pages under tile.
This is Field Communications in Philadelphia. Save at Safeway this week on Perlet Seedless Grapes, only 69 cents a pound. Farmer John Fresh Pork Link Sausage, three packages, just one dollar. And 7-Up in the two-liter bottle is only 89 cents. You'll find these seven-day specials plus hundreds of other specials at Safeway. Your place to save. Ain't funny when you're short of money. Sell your gold, stereos, jewelry, cameras, and other things to the Happy Aka Pawn Shop. Abby's Rocker. That's Hocker. Remember, we also sell jewelry and other valuable items at low discount prices at the Happy Hocker Pawn Shop. Abby's Rocker. That's Hocker. Jay, don't forget the short-term loan with no credit check. Right. And we accept your gold, TVs, fine jewelry, musical instruments, plus other items as collateral. Collateral. That's the last time we'll take a burden for collateral. Your attention, please. Now get a recorded souvenir of the 1978 Philadelphia Mummers Parade and String Band Show of Shows. Just released in limited quantities, the all-new Best of the Mummers 17th Annual Musical Salute Shore Album, containing two long playing records for the price of one. 103 great tunes over one hour of music, saluting 16 champion string bands. $16 value, now yours for only $7.98. This album will not be available in stores. Also available in 8-track stereo or cassette tape, just $8.98. Rush your check or money order to 1978 String Band, Box 7775, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That's Box 7775 in Philadelphia. This is Field Communications in Philadelphia. Who knows? 
Who knows? Who knows? Meaning, who knows what's going to happen? So, why even say anything at this point? I'm offended. I'll share something about this music here. Because see, um, it goes to Channel 40. This music here. I mean, what's wrong with elevator music? I don't understand. Now, elevator music is not Bossa Nova music. As far as I'm concerned. As far as we're concerned. It's not. The styles are different. Yeah, it sounds different. Elevator music is more subtle. But still, we like elevator music. We don't call it elevator music, you know? That's kind of, I mean... You gotta be out your fucking mind not to like it. It's peaceful. Quiet, Sadiqis so all on it all the time. I mean, my people all on. I mean, that's the that's the music, you know. That is the music, man. So elevated music. I guess that is kind of like vampire across, you know. Vampire getting, you know, a cross holding up to a van, held up to a vampire. It's a vampire cross thing, but still, it's not a vampire cross thing to us around here, dude. You know? That's what I'm saying, sweet. I mean, you gotta be kidding me. Who? It's stylish. I could, I could create my ass off with this shit. It's like a step up from Charlie Brown's, you know? The shorts thing. The lightness and you see the, the, the jazz thing. And that's all copied with this shit. You can't use none of that. I would like to, I would like to, because they have, um, Charlie Brown has some good music also on the background. So does uh, Sp the, re the regular Spider-Man animation has a lot of, uh, um, good background music. But it's all copyright. You can't really, you can't really use it. But it's good to know that it's, you, st you still have it. You know, it's still, you know, good to know that we still have it, so. But if that makes any sense at all, you know, even though we can't use it, it's good to know you start, you know, because it's good to chill out on and do stuff with and stuff like that, so. Um, what else going on in the news besides that, um, oh no, he's back, you know, that kind of shit. Oh no, oh no, like Bible, like, oh no, his Moses, like, oh Moses, oh no, like something biblical, something scary, about. oh no, he's back, oh no, you know, this kind of shit here. What else is going on? Oh, um, let me think for a second. Uh, yeah, I heard Twitter collapsing, man. I heard Twitter collapsing because nobody knows. It's a mess. I mean, see, this is what I'm talking about. You see what we're talking about? Already? We okay with, you know, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, like, I mean, the things they're going through is, is, is because Twitter is everything to, some, to, to a lot of people. It's very, it's everything to a lot of people. A lot of people are on Twitter, and it's everything to them. And and they just, and they they're worried, you know. They got accounts and all of this shit, and it's just, it's a, it's a madhouse. He's locking the workers out the building, you know. He shut the building down and locked the workers out. You know, he he just going to fuck off. He going, I mean, nobody. It's everybody wants to lead and be leaders, but they don't know what they're doing. They got no experience. See, the white man, the white man always told everybody, no, 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 no. But now social media here is like, he can't tell nobody no, no more. So you got these people, this, I'm not saying I'm, I'm talking about Musk. I'm not saying I'm talking about nobody in particular, but you got so many people. They're starting businesses and stuff, also, and they just don't know what they're doing. They've never been to school, they never had no, and they just fucking up everything. They fucking their shit up. They don't know how to make comebacks and shit. They got, they're not professional. They, and it's, a, it's turning really ugly around social media. It's turning, and I'm hoping we don't go in that direction, but it's getting really kind of crazy. You know, it's like shit collapsing. You know, and this is crazy. Crazy shit, so 
hopefully y'all can avoid that. You know, y'all can uh, avoid that because right now it don't look good. It, you know, for that platform, but hopefully Twitter will iron this, this situation out and straighten up and everything. Hopefully, and uh, we hope for the best for anybody that's on that platform. You know. Right around the holiday season, all this bullshit happening, you know? When it's time to travel out, you got all this bullshit that's just heaped up out of nowhere for people who wants to celebrate the holiday season. This, for people that's not, because there's a lot of people that's not celebrating the holiday season this year. It's, yeah, it's a lot of people, man. Right, that's true. How they gonna do it? Yeah, even if they want good, good acknowledge, how they gonna do it? it how, how they gonna right? You're right. How they gonna do it? I mean, you got you gonna be worried to death everywhere you go. You worried you gonna get a disease or something like that, or you know, we, we yeah, that's what I'm saying. We went through that thing yesterday about the kids and, and shit. You know, you can't say, oh, this is my child. Oh, look how big my child getting. And then, no, let's keep your child the fuck away from me because he might carry the monkey shit. So the monkey pop thing, the, the was monkey pop thing, it's all that shit, keep your child away from it, cause, you know, children popping off, children popping off like um, erasing him, you know, and, and shit, and keep that shit the fuck, so ain't no okay your child look big this year, okay, oh, he getting big, no, ain't no he getting shit, keep your child away, it's that kind of shit this year, you know, so it makes you wonder, you know, like, where's all of this going at? With, with social media and, 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 and everything is just getting fucked up, you know. It's the beginning of the end, it looks like. Everything is starting and everything feels starting to appear like the beginning of collapse all over the place. Even in government, I mean, this guy coming back. I mean, we got all this shit at one time. It's the beginning of a collapse. If you just pay attention and look, Twitter, the government, and, and all this, it's like... Everything is the beginning of a collapse. And hopefully, I don't know, maybe it will go wayward. Some of this shit will go wayward. Because right now, it looks like you're just lighting some dynamite. And it's the beginning of an explosion. Everything is starting to, you know, and, and, and it, it's just, it don't look good. You know, it just really don't good, look good. So, um, hopefully, you guys out there, my Rashid Bs, you guys. Um, can avoid that, and, and you know, and I don't want to see y'all get mixed up in that. I really don't. We don't want to see y'all get mixed up in that shit. Okay, we don't want to see you get mixed up in that shit, man. And there's, there's a lot of shit popping off, so you gotta keep your nose clean and mind your business, dude. mind your business. And uh, you you will be okay if you just mind your business. You know, that's it's always that's very important. Because when, when everything, when anything gets real tight again, that's okay, Rashid said, mind your business again. So, yeah, that's what I mean. So, it must be exact. It must be something serious, man. Yeah, because this is something great heat up here. You know, something is definitely great heat up here. So, and I always see it, and I see it on the air, that after this voting shit done, they're going to start, they shit to you, was quiet for a while because all this voting is, ain't nothing happening. But as soon as the voting stopped, he go all this bullshit all over the place. And I told y'all that was going to happen. So, we didn't know the bullshit was going to be what we're going through, though. That's for damn sure. But anyway, nonetheless, hopefully we get by that. Now, I'm not thinking about the past, okay? I'm not thinking about the past. That's something that we're not, we don't do that, right? So you may wonder, what's with Channel 48? What, what's with this? What's going on with this here? You know? We already been through how the shit was really, really part of our life. We already been through all of that. That's what I'm saying. We already been through that. At the, you know what? You're right. You guys, I'm going to say just what you say, sweetie, because that's a good one. You guys just hang in there and you'll get what we're doing to Channel 48. How about that? 
Y'all just hang in there and you'll get what we're doing. The channel for you. You'll get it. You'll get it. Um, I know you're wondering about it all, but you'll get it. You'll get it. I'm not, and, and one of the, and one of the um, I'm, we're not losing our childhood around here. Okay? We're not going to do it. This is, in other words, what I'm saying is, this is my first time. This is, this is my first time. This is our first time being middle age. This is my first time being 53 years old. Meaning, I don't kind of like what it's going at. You know, like, I don't got nothing against the young kids doing anything or whatever like that. I, I don't have nothing against that. But I'm talking about for us. I'm talking about for us, like, middle age for us. What do we have? What do we have? What? I'm not into none of the shit. None of the shit they have for our seniors. I'm not into the, the dance. The, the, I don't want to get together with no people dancing on old music inside of some kind of um, a school cafeteria. They made into a dance floor. I don't want to go on no cruise ships and shit like that. Checking shirts and shit. Wearing checking shirts. Playing bingo and all that fucking boring ass shit. Spirit is the way. And spirit will always be the way. And the older you get, the more wise you get to be into spirit. I'm into that shit. I'm not into, you know, this worldly, earthly activities. I don't, I'm not into earthly activities. Channel 48 to us is spirit. Not only is the station not here no more, but the power which it contained when it was here is questionable to us of how magnificent this was. And to be able to sit back and enjoy it right here is beyond <clears throat> is beyond what anybody um that's into my content can imagine. I mean, it's, this is just what we need, right? Exactly. That's what I'm trying. This is what we need, not only around here, but period. Have you seen the entertainment that they have now? I mean, I, I, like, like I'm saying, like I said, we're not talking about anybody. This ain't about making nobody feel bad or this or that or you know, like you know, it's, it's not about that. But what it is about is I'm upset at the industry because they tell us that we can't like we supposed to like what they have. Like we're baby birds in a nest and they're feeding us worms of entertainment. You gotta have this, you can have this, you can have this. Now social media here, we can have our own, we can make our own shit. So, when, when you, and then when you start making your own, now listen to this, listen. When you start making your own stuff on social media, you're still in some kind of cookie cutter of what people will like. So you go to gaming, you talk about, first thing you grab is something Hollywood. And try to talk about that. Or try to talk about this. That's something that people are familiar with. That's not how Walt Disney thought, man. That's not how Walt Disney thought. Or well, none of the great animators. That's not how Ray Harry Housen felt. That's not how Ray Harry Housen felt. You know? Sometimes you gotta think outside the fucking box, dude. You gotta... You gotta say, we gonna do this. And it's more than if you build it, they will come. It's more than that. We're going to do this. We're going to get somebody to like us. You see what I'm saying? We're going to do this. And somebody will watch us. Somebody will watch us. And not only will they watch us, but they might they will enjoy what they like what they see and they will so it's about that. It's really about that. That's what it's really about. You know? That's what it's really about. It's about doing something and having people like the entertainment that you do. Because when you do it it's therapeutic for whoever 
it's big. It ain't therapeutic if you're mocking, if you're doing something just because the people want to enjoy it. Or I'm doing this because this is what the people want to see. But you don't like it. Or only celebrities do that in Hollywood. When they got to do a movie role, they don't like it. But they got to do it. And so, and yada, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know? That's when it's not therapeutic. But when you're getting it, when you on social media being yourself, releasing what you like, despite what anybody thinks, that's when it becomes therapeutic. And that's when, the, and I'm telling you, it's like, y'all my psychiatrist, y'all my therapist. And, I'm, and, and this is, you know, it's, it feels good to lay it all out of how I view things. You know, the way, yeah, how we view things, how we look at everything. Yeah, yeah. Giving a taste for other people to see our content. Right, right, because otherwise they wouldn't see it, because they're not going to fuck with our shit. They're not going to fuck with our shit. They make you think, they make you think they, they want to steal from, well, I don't say steal from us, but because artists are supposed to share each other's content. So I'm never going to. See that even though like y'all just heard, the thought will come up in your head. But you should never go for that thought. Because art is supposed to be shared. So I don't see anything wrong with that. Art is supposed to be shared and this and that and this and that. So it's not stealing, but they will share our material of our ideas and shit and make movies all for us. But they won't put our shit up there. It's a common case of what the fuck is, you know, what the hell is this? That kind of thing. But nonetheless. Right. Nonetheless. Because I want to dig in some answers about that. But that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. It's, it, 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 it's therapeutic. It's therapeutic when you can do it this way. And it's better because if they took us in Hollywood. Like like my baby. Like you see it. It wouldn't be there. It wouldn't, that's what I'm saying. It wouldn't be there. And I never looked at it that way. And that's good. I never looked at it that way. And you're right. You're absolutely right. It, 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 it makes us feel good. It makes us feel great. It makes us feel powerful and strong. And you got people out here that know I have something to say about the God and the Bible. And I'm not going to do it because, because I, test, I test you. We test y'all out before. We test y'all out before. And y'all ran away. When we was talking serious, we gave a lecture before a couple of lectures. And that you know, everybody start running away and shit. So I scare you guys when I talk about God. But you'll listen to all these other evangelists, and you, you, they don't bother you. When I start talking about God, y'all get scared and run away. So that's why y'all see what y'all see. See, I got a, I got a temper now. Not what the audience like to see, but what we like to do. But the whole point is, if y'all gonna run away, then we might as well not be on social media. So I gotta put up something that don't make y'all run away. At the same time, we right, we like what we doing, and that's why y'all see what y'all see. I like this shit, man, because it's not on the side of my notebook no more in school. Because it's not on my separators in my notebook. I didn't gotta draw pictures on them no more. Now I'm able to just throw them on this thing called social media and have you guys like it. And that's cool. That's cool. That, that, that's really, really relaxing, rejuvenating, and satisfying. And I would we wouldn't ask for nothing else. We wouldn't we really wouldn't. Anyway, let's get let's get to talking to Channel 48 of what's going on with this goddamn station. Oh, where we left off at what I just said, I think Channel 48, we think. Channel 48 is a spiritual thing. It's spiritual. It's spiritual in a lot of ways. Not only did they, and I never noticed that this station had um, spiritual stuff on during the daytime, Monday to Friday. Even though seven days a week, yeah, seven days a week it had um, spiritual stuff on it. And you never noticed that. Like seven days a week, this station in the morning time. Hey, spiritual stuff. PTL was on every morning here on Channel 48. Every morning. You were lift you you was into God and everything. It 
That's the high point station to be that way. And to play the most rebunctious things during the daytime. That's very, very odd. Very odd. Very weird. talking about with the family and you know why it fits also because this is around Thanksgiving time this is around Thanksgiving time for the family and channel 48 have their family involved even I had some friends when I was younger and I would go over their house and they were and it was shabby looking and he had this one TV set that I know that they family watch. And the TV set was sitting on some fucking half-ass TV stand. With a, with a clothes hanger for an antenna. And Channel 48 reel. And still, that person got a family vibe. Even though they were the only ones in the house at times. And all. You could tell they had a family vibe watching It was it was a family vibe. What can we say really about that? When television in general is supposed to be for the family, you know? Sure they had reruns on channel forty eight, no, but they promoted was new. They promoted Robert Williams Popeye. When Robin used to Popeye and Shelly Duvall, Channel 48, that's all they was talking about. They even did a special for it. So even though they, they showed rerun shows, it was a retro station. Like RVT is a retro station. They still kept up the date with shit. You know what I'm saying? They really still kept up the date with what was hot. In the movies and all, because they showed it all the time. They showed um, Rosemary's Baby uh, preview, a uh, movie preview. They showed um, It's Alive movie preview. They, you know, they kept up to date with shit, and that was awesome. They showed all the Disney shit in the movies, like, and Disney movies was coming back to the movie theater. They would show the preview on Channel Four. They keeping up to date with stuff, even though the station. Play retro entertainment. Now that's fucking awesome. <coughs> that's all. That's fucking awesome. It's a family film. It's a homey film. And it's very entertaining. It's very, very entertaining. It's, it's amazing. It was an amazing thing to be a part of. <coughs> and if y'all guess, if y'all notice, if y'all notice, I can I could talk about Channel 48. We could, I mean, no, absolutely not. But I don't want to, I don't, I, you know, I want to be fair to y'all, Rashid, to tell you something, because y'all might not have interest. And Rashid, want to hear you talk about something else. We want to hear, we want to see, you know. It's that, uh, all right, you're going to hear me talk about, um, about um, other stuff that I'm working on. I'm working on tons of other stuff. This is just a Channel 48 picture up, so all the other stuff got to be. It got to be. Y'all watch shows sometimes. Let's be fair. Let's, let's get real. I'm going to get real with y'all. Why she could tease. Because y'all been with me for such a long time. It's time to get real with shit. Y'all watch other stations. If something happened, y'all had to deal with it. When Adult Swim fucked up they shit, y'all had to deal with it. When, uh, you know, certain shows, they make turns and fuck it up, y'all had to deal with it. Maybe this one thing. How many things we gonna have like that with RBT? They already was like that with Rashid the Mystical Source. Now they turn. Now I hope it's not a problem. I really don't. Because this is where it is for 
for a while. Guys, just trust me on this. I know what I'm doing. Okay, I know what I'm doing. Y'all just gotta hang in there with me. And then the end, y'all see Rashid, I'm glad I hung in there with you. I trust you. I trust you. So, even though this may not be your um, attire for entertainment, just trust me on this. We need this. If, if we don't have anything to bring us back to humanity, can't you see the world is going to fall apart? Now, you can sit there and talk this shit and say, Rashi, I got stuff that, that, that I'm, I'm looking at that's keeping me up. And dude, I'm not seeing a fucking thing y'all doing to that's keeping shit up together. I'm not seeing a fucking thing. I don't see nobody trying. I'm not even fucking trying. I guess after that Alex Jones incident and all that shit, everybody fucking scared that they have death to see anything and do anything. And that's understandable. You know, everybody see what's going on. Everybody see what's going on. If Bill Clinton was president or Ronald Reagan was president and social media was here, Alex Jones was up, they wouldn't even pay that motherfucker no attention, man. They wouldn't even pay that motherfucker no attention. No government, no government will pay them. But we living in a time now where it's some kind of do 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 that kind of shit all in the government and all in those what you doing over there and what you know it's a different kind of vibe and people's attitudes and shit and it's, and it's, it's, it's street is ghetto. I want to see what the neighbors doing all day. No, that's not America. Being like that, but then again, things change. I guess people change or whatever, you know. What the fuck ever do so. We need this. Whether you like it or not, we need this. You may think we don't. You may think, oh, Rashid, I don't want to see it, all this shit. It's not like that. We need this. We need it. Because we are people, and we know who we are, that we're people. We make our decisions for ourselves. We make up our own mind with things. And, 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 and it's like we, we're trying to leave. I ain't going to say they trying to do shit. Because they can't do a fucking thing if you don't let them. It's your, you want to be led and shit and shit like that. Oh, oh, whatever. We need this right here to keep us thinking. Spiritual. I'm going to just say it. Spiritual. No matter how wrong you things may seem around here. It's spiritual. Our, yeah, that's something our kind of spiritual. So I want to bring that out. It's our kind of spiritual. And if you're a Rashi lover, you if you like me, you know, you will see it. Or you'll see Rashi, I see where you come coming from. But you gotta get me. I tell you, you gotta get Rashi. You gotta get me. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm not like a gimmick or a gag, but you just gotta get me and shit where I'm coming from. You see Rashi, I see where you coming from. But if you just watch me on the eye, yeah, if you just flip it through YouTube or whatever, you come across me, you know, you might turn. Oh, this guy here is nine watch, you know. Some kind of shit like this. You gotta get this. That's what I like. I like that shit. You know why I like that? You know why? Because I don't want to be like no. We're not like nobody. That's why. Because we're not like nobody. So I want to be like. I want to be the person you turn away from and say no. Because if you gave me attention, I couldn't have no fun. I couldn't play Channel 48. I couldn't do that. this stuff right here. If everybody's giving me attention, I would have to conform to everybody what everybody like. And I and I'm not doing unboxing and all that bullshit. I'm not doing that fucking shit. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing that shit. I'm a broadcaster. I'm not an unboxer. I'm not I don't do that. If I got something to show you, I throw it on the fucking air. I unbox the shit. Not saying nothing anything wrong with it. We just don't fuck with it. We just don't fuck with it. Yeah, maybe they unbox it. They have a show they unbox it something that they got for themselves. Wow, wow, look what you got. You know, look what you got. That type of shit. Look what you got. Me, 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 me. Look what you got. Wow. Thanks, I spent time looking at your video of what you got, what you have, what you have going on. And you know around here, we share things around here. What, what you see around here is for us. This is all shit around here. And it's crazy shit. This shit nobody ain't seen before or whatever. Like, but it still belongs to us around here. 
Ain't there no I I around this motherfucker. Ain't y'all know it. You know, but you come across shit, you know, what you got, what you got. You know, what you what is all about you shit. Good for fucking you, man. Good for fucking you. Only thing missing is the Huckleberry Hound cartoon. You got every fucking thing. Good for you. You know? Good for you. I ain't talking about everybody, but y'all get what I'm talking about. Some motherfuckers around here, man. <laughs> it is. It's some motherfuckers around here. Look, look what I got. Look what I got. You, you know, you feel the type of way about that kind of stuff. Soupy Cells, they never say, look what I got. Walt Disney ain't never say, look what I got. You know? Entertain. Entertain. Anyway, let's get back to it. I just want to give y'all a, 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 a reason why, to, why we specialize on some things around here. I just want to give y'all the reason why. It's important that we talk about that. I don't want to leave y'all hanging. You know how you go to some people and some shows, and then next thing you know, they start talking about something you're not interested in, and then the next show be the same way, and the next show be the same way, and the next show be the same way. You sitting back thinking like, why are they doing this? Why are they? And they don't tell you shit. That's some, to me. That's the most ignorant of that shit to it. And I hate that fucking shit. So. I don't. I want to. I want to talk to you guys about why we doing what we doing, so y'all don't feel that fucking way. Is that so damn wrong? Is that so wrong? So that's what I'm saying. I'm not gonna leave y'all like that and just put up shit y'all not interested in, and not give you a reason why. I'm saying because we need this shit right here in Channel 48 era. It's the only thing RBT had right now besides talking about God, which y'all run from. I can't do that. Why are y'all leaving me no fucking choice? <laughs> yeah, that's what they leaving us no choice. They leaving us no choice. Fix it. Fix it. Fix your asses on a pass. Because that's where it's at. Now, you ain't got to live by it. They say, whoever don't learn from the past is dying on repeat. Uh, you know, all of these sayings, all of these, these sayings, where they get this crazy ass shit from. You can't repeat the past because the past is the past and that's it. So, I don't know what the fuck they talking about, but Jim Jones had that on his shit when he was all dead. If they were alive, when they were alive, they had a big sign above his chair. Those who don't remember from the past will repeat the past. Some of them shit. I don't. That's not a Bible verse. I don't know where they got that from. You know these strange sayings and shit. You know. Yeah, those who those they say those who don't remember the past is bound to repeat the past. What the fuck are you talking? What are you talking? About? The past is the past. I mean, you ain't say you gonna repeat it because you ain't learned from it, so you gonna make the same mistake. All right, well, ninety percent of the people make same mistakes. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, I don't understand. I don't, I get what it's saying. I just I don't go with the shit. But one of the saying. I want to talk about the spiritual, because this is spiritual weekend, and I can do it because it's spiritual weekend. One of the things that's interesting that pisses me off, man, and y'all gonna hear me curse. I just want to say it's a warning. This is a warning, and I don't give warnings. I don't get a warning. No, fuck a warning. This is R B T. My team, they don't fuck a fuck a damn warning. But I'm gonna be cursed because I'm gonna get kind of irate. Right now, I'm going to get irate about what I'm about to tell you guys. What I'm about to share with you guys. Okay? I'm going to get kind of irate. I want you to hear this. Now, I'm going to talk about this in depth in the, in the lecture I give. The spiritual lecture I give. I'm going to talk about this in depth. 
because I think it needs to be covered, you know. But they say that when I was a man, when I was a child, I act like a child. I thought like a child. I behaved like a child. But when I became a man, I put away the yeah, childish thing. Now let's stop for a minute. Let's just stop for a minute. When I was a child, I thought as a child, I acted as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Now, I'm going to give you an, an example of what, of, I'm going to show you, I'm going to just show you all something. This is an example, you know, it's not, it's not, just listen, it's just a fucking example. Say I got a nephew, and my nephew is a bad kid. He's about, he's not a kid, kid, he's about 19 years old, 20, in fact, he's 20 years old. I'm about 30, he's 35, something like that. But he's about 20 years old. He's, he always in trouble, he always running running around, he's in, he, he gets fucked up with the law and shit like that. So one day, he gets in trouble and gets locked up. Then he gives me a call on the telephone and says, Rashid, can you come bail me out in jail? Can you get me out? So I go up there and I bail him out of jail. We bail him out of jail. We, again, we get him out of jail. We bail him out. We, we, before, we bail him out of jail, but he's still locked up. He's getting released, say, about 5 o'clock in the evening. So, even though I bailed him out, he got to wait till 5 o'clock to get released. Y'all know the drill. Whoever been locked up. That's how they do this shit. So, I go up to his jail cell where he, yeah, he said, Rashid, thanks so much. Thanks, Uncle Rashid. Thanks, Uncle Rashid. I know what I And I look at him. And I say... You don't have to get your life together. You know that. And he said, yeah, Rashi, I'm going to get my life together. I swear, I'm going to get my life together. And I say, no, it's not. It's not. It's more than you telling me you're going to get your life together. you got to really apply yourself and get your ass together. So he says, okay, I'm going to get my life. And I say, be quiet. Let me tell you something. It's time to start thinking like an adult. You got to think more adultly. When I was a child, I thought like a child. I act like a child. And I behaved like a child. But when I became an adult, I put away childish things. And he said, you know, I hear you, Rashid. I hear you, Uncle Rashid. I say, you think about that. Now your ass getting out of here at 5 o'clock. You think about what I just told you. It's time for you to grow up. And my nephew say, okay, I will. I will. Alright. That's exactly what that means, guys. Now let me be quiet and let y'all digest that. I think it was the Apostle Paul. He was talking to his people because they wouldn't listen to him. He was trying to tell them to walk in the ways of the of the Lord. And they kept acting stupid. And they kept doing shit. So when he read his letter to the to the uh, his congregation people, that's what he said to them. Because of how they was acting. Now, this is what man did. This is what man did to that. He took it. And, and drug dealers and politicians and all of these motherfuckers going to take it and put it in their life as part of being a man. You can't like nothing uh, children like. 
You can't. That's not what the fuck that means. You see where we're going at with this? That saying was, a, I think it was the Ephesians. I could be all wrong. I could be all wrong with the method. But that's what that saying means in the Bible. It doesn't mean when an adult can't like childish things. That's not what it's saying. Jesus said, if you do not become a child, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Now, if that, if that saying meant that, Jesus wouldn't have said that. It don't make sense. Primarily of knowing who's number one. I'm better than you. I'm better than you. I'm better than you. I'm better than you. No, Jesus said, whoever don't become like a child and don't know the difference between being better than somebody cannot enter the kingdom of God. So, Jesus telling you to role model yourself after a child. That's what Jesus is saying. That's what he's saying at the Last Supper. During the Last Supper. Now, man took that. You see, that's part of manhood. I don't play with I don't play with kid things, you know. When I think like a child, hey, see, man is so fucking stupid. It's fucking pathetic. He's just a fucking dumb son of a bitch, man. Jesus here twice to imitate children. Now that don't mean go out and start being a big child. Now that don't mean to start playing with toys. That don't mean to start. Uh, you, as an adult, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Stop. When you listening to me, listen to me. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. That doesn't mean you can't enjoy childish things. And man made it today like it does mean that you can't enjoy childish things. He was talking to some people because they wouldn't listen to him. And they was acting stupid. They was acting like children, getting drunk, gambling, robbing, stealing, acting like children. And he, in other words, he was saying to them, I know this is hard of what I'm telling you. I know that it's hard for y'all to listen to. But think about this. When I was a child... I, I used to think like a child. I used to act like a child. But I, what I can he was telling them to grow up. And he had nothing to do with a man liking childish things. You see the point? I'm surprised I said all that without swearing. I didn't even come. I get, I'd be screaming like Adolf Hitler, dude. Because I don't like that they, t when, when man, see, I'm a different type of man, dude. And I don't like them pushing on their manhood on me of how the fuck to be. I don't like I just I just don't like it. I don't like them trying to push their manhood on what I, or what manhood is supposed to be. That but because see, you're not paying attention to womanhood. What if women had to deal with that? Now you got all these classes of women. You got the women like that Billy Elijah motherfucker. You got the women like the Hannah Montana, that Molly Cyrus You got all these different types of women. You got women that, that like to dress like men. You got women that like to, you You don't see no kind of feminine women no more. You don't see it no more. You don't see it no more. But what if, what if it, uh, one showed up, this really docile, and, told, and the message to women was, this is the way a woman's supposed to be. How would women go with that? See, women wouldn't go for that shit. Of every way she looked, she's seeing a certain type of woman of how a woman's supposed to be. Maybe that's the reason why women act in any way now. Because of the docileness or whatever. But whatever the reason, they did something about it. Manhood shit still going on the fourth block. 
You see what I'm saying? Manhood shit is still going on in fucking full throttle. See, women, they straighten their shit out. This is the way you want to act or whatever like that. <coughs> but you will never hear in womanhood, this is the way a woman is supposed to act. Right? You won't never hear that. But in manhood, shit like that is permanent. It's cemented. You got to be this way to be a man. You got to like sports. You got to like basketball. You got to be tough. You got to act like an eat. You got to... It fucking gets under my skin, dude. But, you know, that's the way the world is. Yada, yada, yada. Don't bring that fucking shit around here. Okay? If you want to be He-Man or whatever the fuck ever, you could be He-Man or fuck somewhere else. Don't bring that shit around. Don't, don't tell me my fucking man. Don't, tell, don't do that shit. Don't do that shit. Back in Roman days, there was no such thing as tough men. You know that. Back in Roman days, when Roman the Greeks ruled the world, all the men were feminine. The most toughest men who kicked ass for history wore stockings and rollers in their fucking head. But nowadays, it's just feminine bullshit. See, man had on stockings. We had his foot up people ass in the country saying, do what the fuck I tell you to do. He was wearing stockings. So don't sit up and fucking tell me how a man's supposed to fucking act. I don't like it. It pisses me the fuck off, dude. But nonetheless, if that's what they want to do, so be it. Just don't bring the shit around here. But the thing of this whole conversation is because they say, they, they, they carry on. When I was a child, I, I did child. That's not what that means. That's not what that means. They, he was talking to some ruthless people who were not listening to him. That's who he was talking about. So they could straighten up and grow up. That's why they don't, that's in the Bible. And it ain't no teaching like Jesus on serving on the mount. He's talking to somebody. He's talking. Man, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't, I don't, even, want, I don't even want to discuss it. I don't want to discuss it. Because it's stupid shit. And don't bring that fucking shit around. That's all I wanted to get out. Because there ain't no men out there correcting nothing. They carry it on like that's the way, that's the, a Bible verse. Of some fucking shit. That's not no Bible verse. That's a story of one of the prophets talking to some dumbass people. And he was telling them that so they could listen to God's word. Anyway, if you don't if you don't know what you're talking about, some people need to just shut the fuck up. That's not what the scriptures mean when the Bible say that. That's all I wanted to bring up. When I was a T you, you can't think of like a you can't think of like a Jesus said if we don't you ain't getting in my shit. That's what Jesus said. If you ain't thinking like a child, you ain't getting in my shit. He said it twice. Probably three times. He kept having to tell them. I'm going to go in detail about that because that's not going nowhere. When I give my lecture, expect to hear about that because I'm going, I'm breaking that shit down. Because don't bring that kind of thinking around here. There's nothing wrong with a man like a child is thinking. We create the things the children play with. We create the cartoons they walk, the, that they watch. And we create Every fucking thing these children enjoy in amusement parks is grown men and women who do it. So if, they, if, they, if we followed that, if we thought that that was right, then kids would have, we wouldn't have had nothing. We wouldn't have had nothing coming up as a child. So don't sit there and tell me that shit. That's not what that means. If you want to talk about the Bible verse, know what you're talking about. There's nothing wrong with a man enjoying childish things. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing against it. There's nothing wrong with it. But we live in a world today where they're telling us it is something wrong with it. And that's bullshit. That's fucking bullshit.
say you was a child. Say you was a child. And you walking home from school. Now, I always, I use this with my people, but I'm going to bring it to social media. And I want y'all to hear this. And y'all tell me what y'all think. Say you was a child. You walking home from school. You, you see your friends meeting you halfway when you walk home from school. And they say, guess where we going at? And this right here is going to end the discussion and we're going to talk about something else. Because this is stupid. We walking home from school and a bunch of kids over here say, guess where we going at? And you, t and you, tell, you ask your friends where we are going. They said, we, a carnival just opened up. They don't even have, I'm talking fantasy, they ain't got carnivals no fucking one, but nonetheless, we going to the movies. We going to the movies. And guess what? We've been treated. We ain't got paid nothing. And plus, we getting $10 in our pocket. What happened? Because Mr. Such and Such hit the lottery. Mr. Such and Such hit the lottery, and now he treating anybody. You coming? Then you say, hold on. Hold on for you tell your friends. Hold on for a minute. You go inside your house. And all you hear is laughing when you get in your house. You hear laughing. So you turn around and you see your mother. You see your mother, your father, or whoever, your guardian, or whoever. Or whoever. Laughing and joking about somewhere they're about to go. They say, oh, this is going to be serious. This is going to be... Then they look at you while you're standing there. And right before you ask them, hey, mom, dad, can I go with my friends to the movies or whatever, or my guardian, whoever's watching, grandmother, whoever, they look at you and start laughing before you even ask a question. And they start pointing their finger at you and go, I bet you he'd like to go with his down here. And then one of your one of your mother or your father's friends, because it's a group of your mother, your father, it's a group of people you ain't even seen before. They with your parents laughing, and they say, "No, no, no, this place ain't for no child now." And your parents say, "That oh, my child can handle it." Then these parents look at you with a drink in their hand or whatever. They don't drink whatever, and say, "Come in," and you go over there to your parent, and your parents say to you, and your actually in your face, "Do you want to come with us? Hang with us?" And one of your parents' friends start laughing. So I don't believe this shit. And your parents look back and look at them and say, Shut up! This is my child. And then they look back and just say, Do you want to come with us? Do you want to come out with us? We're going to go somewhere and check something out. Now, I'm taking you and putting you by yourself. Which group would you rather go with? Think about it. I'll be quiet. Would you rather go with your friends who just asked you to go out with them? Or would you rather go out with your parents, with, with their friends you've never seen before about some exciting adventure? Which group would you... Now, remember now how old you are. You're a fucking child. Which group in your... Be honest, that you would want to go with? Why? Why? Now, listen to the saying now. When I was a child, I thought like a child. I act like a child. I behave like a child. But when I became an adult, I put away childish things. Now, do that fit? End the discussion. Nothing else to talk about. I already know your answer. I ain't even say shit. I already know your answer. I didn't even say a fucking thing else. That's it. We're done. All over. Nothing else to talk about. Proving, proving that that verse is not talking about stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with a man or a woman like the child's things. That's it. End the discussion. You don't believe me? Go read the Bible yourself and see for yourself. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Now, getting back to Channel 48. This station, um, this is the king of all stations. Like Budweiser is the, is the king of all bears. You know, this is the king of all stations, but they turned it the fuck off. 
He turned it off because two brothers got in a fight. That's what the fuck happened. <laughs> two brothers got in a fight, and that's why. It's amazing how, you know, man takes the Bible verses and make and recreate them to say what he wants them to say. It's really fucking amazing. I mean, it will when a when some when a man or a boy hear that verse, you know how confused they get. Do you have any idea how confused they get? I mean, they're actually forcing you to think like a fucking orangutan. They actually forcing you to think like a goddamn eagle. Unfucking believable, man. Unfucking believable. And it pisses me off. It pisses us off around here. It pisses us off the high fucking heaven. If you don't know what the scriptures say, just shut your fucking mouth, man. It's that simple. Because you sitting here saying something wrong with me, cursing. And like in God and swear a filthy potty mouth or whatever. And you sit here and you don't even know what the fuck the Bible say. So I don't give a shit. Think God care about swearing through? There's a lot you gonna learn about God. Cause you ain't paying you ain't paying it. Let me shut <laughs> Let me shut the fuck up before we go on, before we start doing some shit. So alright, let's stick to the yeah, stick to channel for you. Stick to for you. I don't wanna fuck with my God things and shit, so yeah, so, uh, <laughs> this is, this is, um, really, um, something that the world will never see again, a station like this. They will never see it again. It's going, it will never, ever be brought back. We went easy, yeah. We went kind of easy. This um, this channel 48 pitch out there. It's not like the one we did yesterday. This is a little different. I felt as though okay, let's talk about other things other than um, you know because the fact is, well, the thing is, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm about to say. They don't understand. If I go into deep, we go into detail about 48 in front of these people. I don't want to be the kind of, you know how you listen to some people and they branch off into talking about something else and then it's like, okay, I'm lost in the conversation. I'm not, I don't know what they talk. I don't want to be that kind of, every word I say, I want y'all to understand. That's why we are echoed now. I'm going to stay in fucking echo mode. Because you got motherfuckers around, don't listen to Rashid, don't listen to Rashid, don't listen to when you listen to Rashid. I want it to be powerful. Because when you leave Rashid, they're going to say, don't listen to Rashid, don't pay it. So I want it to be like Echo. I want it to be just like this. Just like this. And if it was a loud fucking speaker up in the sky, I'll put it right there. That's what the hell I want to do. And I want to put Channel 48 up there. Also. Because I know they're still alive. I know they're still around. The people who belong to this, this, um, Glorious uh, TV station. They still around. I would want them to see. Hey, y'all fucked up something good here. You know, y'all really did. But I wouldn't want to see Channel 48 nowadays. Yeah, I wouldn't want to see it nowadays. I, I, I really wouldn't. I, I really, I mean, I'm glad it's going. You know, yeah, we're glad it's going. I mean, I, there's no way I want to see if it was around now. They would probably have destroyed it. With all of this ghetto shit. They would have just destroyed it. So I'm glad it's not here. And I don't give a fuck what 48 station they rebuilt. It will never ever be the original one. Never. Never. Never ever ever. So. That's that in a nutshell. And I got a harp on channel. I got a harp on it. I'm not going to say you know. I don't want to trick nobody. I don't want to say, hey, y'all, come listen to, um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Hey, y'all, come listen to, um, 
this picture up and y'all come listen to Rashid and then I'll talk about Channel 48 and y'all say, what the fuck is this shit? See, that's what other subscribers, that's what, not subscribers, that's what other platform users do to people because it happened to me sometimes. You know, I don't want to be like that with y'all. I want to, I want to tell y'all what it's about. So if y'all, if, if y'all come here, know that we're going to talk about this, that, and the other. I'm not going to trick y'all. I'm not going to do it. I refuse to do that. I'm not going to do that. Okay? I don't do that. I don't play games. I don't do play. See, I'm a man. I don't play fucking games. You see what I'm saying? See, my manhood fits. See, my manhood fits in the right way. I don't play fucking games like that. So, when when I say we're going to talk about something, I'm, gonna tell you, I'm not going to trick y'all like that and say, hey, come listen to me. Then y'all come here and then, okay, channel 40. And y'all sitting here saying, oh, I didn't know you were going to talk about Channel 48. Oh, you tricked me. You know, it's like a trickery. I'm not going to do that to you guys. So if you come over here, you look pretty stupid if you're sitting here saying, oh, why are you talking about 40? Do you know what you're going to talk about? What you doing here? If, I'm, if I do it this way so I won't trick you, so I won't trick you, why are you here complaining now? It don't make sense. Don't make sense. The reason why I say that because we're going to be talking about this a lot. And this right here is the shit. We hooked on this. And, and on top of that, and like I said, it's what we need. We need some kind of family feel. Some kind of close foreclosure. Some kind of, uh, some kind of solace. And to talk about things. Everybody knows what's up. Everybody knows, you know. Everybody knows we have issues now. And everybody sees that it's getting worse. Just like I said, it's going, to, it's going to get worse. It's going to get so worse, guys. You have no idea. But it's a very, very slow process. Very slow. But it's going to get so worse, dude. Y'all have no idea. We're never, ever, ever going to, because this is God's kingdom being ushered in. But this is not, this, this is not the place for it. It's hard to stick to Channel 40. It's very hard because we, you know. Channel 48 became un, 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 um, interesting, un, uninteresting when WHT came out. That's when it became uninteresting when WHT came out. That's when it became, well, WHT was one of the, was one of, WHT in prison. Was the first cable station ever to hit the United States. They had um, uh, uh, what was the other one? Uh, Greater Media, something like that. That was out. Then they had Wade Cable. We had Wade Cable. You know, we had that, and we had uh, you know HBO. We had all of them. Basically, all of them, all the way up to Comcast. But it all started when you was in that field of. Um, Channel 48, was watching, and that's all of a sudden, you start, on Channel 48, you start seeing WHT commercials. You start seeing prison commercials. Like, what's this special television? Then? What's this special? Oh, it's paid television. It's called paid television. Where you gotta pay to see certain things, and you lost your fucking mind if you was a TV buff. I think back then it was $21 a month. Think about this. Half you guys, if y'all had the jobs y'all had back then, y'all could afford it. Y'all could tell y'all friends, Mom, guess what? I'm getting us kid. I'm getting us HBO. You could you could kick twenty one bucks a month, dude. That ain't shit. It'll be like that. Cable was dirt cheap when it came out. Dirt cheap. HBO was twenty bucks bucks a month. And I heard um W H T was like twelve dollars a month. It was dirt cheap. Now it's almost three hundred dollars a month for for the sh because you know why because everybody wants to be God everybody want to be Jehovah God and being these videos flying in the air and all the special effects and all this shit and hey a movies advance so if movies gonna advance then checks gonna advance started with CGI now we got all this shit hey ain't, ain't no twelve dollars ain't no twenty one dollars a month you want to see this here you gonna pay for it. You know, the real, the realer movies got, and I do use the word realer, the realer movies got, the more expensive it got. 
You can't blame nobody because that's the way it is. That's the way the fuck happened. That's what happened. Now it's almost three hundred dollars a month. Over three hundred a month. I don't know who can afford. I know. I know. I know for a fact. Half the people don't have uh, that Netflix. That net. They can't afford it. So they got this hollow shit. This hollow stuff. And still, is money. It, who can afford that? I mean, who can afford that? You know, who can? That's a lot of money there, man. And, I, and, the, and the thing about it is we know somebody. I know somebody who who had it. And I'm asking them. Because I see them like every now and then. I saw, them, I saw them last week. I said, what's going on on there? What's happening? He said, man, it's the same old shit. They rerun these shows over and over and over. Oh, okay, they like HBO then. Because I know HBO did that shit in the 80s. They, they re-ran their shit like crazy. To the point my mother was like, I'm going to stop paying this bill. Because we see, I'm, I'm paying this bill and we seeing the same shit over and over again. They took, they, 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 they put something on one month. And then one month go by. And then the next month they put it back on again. HBO was doing that shit. So I was like, why am I paying all this money for this? Are they playing the same shit? And that's what I heard Netflix doing right now. They playing, they playing the same old shit over and over and over and over again. And he said he, he don't know what to do. Because he knows that if he don't have it, he ain't watching shit. See, we ain't got regular TV no more. They destroyed it. So if you don't pay it, you just don't see shit. They got, um, what's that, um, digital television or something like that? I think it comes with the television now. That's not the same. I know they play stupid shit. There's no way they don't. They do. They play stupid shit, and it's the same shit over and over and over again. And you're paying all that goddamn money. And you're sitting there and say, okay, I'm going to watch some cable TV or whatever. As soon as you turn it on, it's the same shit over and over. I mean, that's what Netflix, that's what you say Netflix on. Now, I know it's different types of Netflix, so I don't know which one. So it might not be the main Netflix, guys. I don't know. I just want to clarify that. I, it might not be the main, the, the main Netflix. Because they might subscribe or something. <laughs> It might not be the name that uh, the main Netflix. It might be another Netflix. But I do know that some of these platforms that out, whether the Hollow or whatever, they playing the same shit over and over again. The HBO Bob. Yeah, you can, yeah, that's what we call it. The HBO, the HBO 1980s, the 1980s HBO Bug. That's what the fuck it is. The 1980s HBO Bug. <laughs> Because HBO drove you crazy with that shit. HBO had some shit on there, man. It was making you lose your fucking mind. The kids in the hall. The kids in the hall. We was going to the hall back then. I didn't find that funny. It was like a complete mockery. The kids in the hall was one. Uh, Gregory's girl was another one. I hated that inside the NFL. I couldn't stand that fucking shit. Every time I, I come downstairs on Saturday morning. And my big brother sitting there watching that, picking his feet, picking his toes and shit. You know, this kind of shit, man, I don't want to talk about it because now I'm getting emotional here. I'm getting emotional. It's bad for my nervous system. I'm not young no more. So I'm going to stop thinking about it. But that dick cabin inside the NFL, man, oh my God, man. Oh my God, damn motherfucker, man. Woo, shit. Oh, fucking God, dude. But good thing no days is over, dude. Thank fuck it. Ah. That Dick Cabot, motherfucker. That Dick Cabot, motherfucker, and that HBO football shit. Oh, whoa, shit. Mm. God. Mm. Anyway, good thing that shit is done. Fucking destroyed. I piss on it. I like Dick Cabot. I didn't think nothing about him. Because Dick Cabot had an awesome show back then. 
back in the day. He, it was, he, you know, he had Janis Jacklin. He interviewed Jimi Hendrix. He interviewed all the big motherfuckers. And Dick Cavett was the man. So I don't know when his career started going bad. He jumped to sports. And it's like, oh my God. Why don't y'all get a motherfucker a TV show like Donahue? Donahue had a TV show out back then. Yeah, give him. Why are you letting him do what? Y'all going to put him on sports? But well, they got to do something with him. They ain't going to let a white man like that go to waste. Though. Not no dick They ain't going to let him go to waste. They going to put him to work. Gonna, no, we're going to give you something. But they gave him motherfucker sports, dude. His voice. His voice. First he, first he, no, no, I ain't going too far on the air. Let me say this fucking shit. Let me say this shit. Let me say this. His fucking voice was doing Hollywood fucking shit first. Then they, they going to put it with sports, too? Oh, man, that's some irritating shit Saturday morning. You don't look at no shit like that Saturday morning, man. Mm-mm. Fuck no, man. I guess they figure men don't got to work. You know, it's the end back then. It was the end of the week. Saturday morning, men ain't got to work. They ain't got to work. So they turn off. Sport just with men. What a different type of men out here, dude. You see what I'm saying? It's a different type of men out here. Not all men like this. Mm, mm, mm. What if women had to deal with that? Everything was beauty all the fucking time, like the step for wives. And you had to be. The men today on this planet Earth is like the step for wives. But it's a man, it's the man version. Men, I will say it again. Men today on the planet Earth is like the step for wives. Everybody got to be a certain type of man on this planet. But that shit ain't with women, though. See, women ain't having that shit. It's with the men. The men got to be sports. I don't like balls. I don't like fucking balls. I don't like... I got balls. I, I like my balls. Um, it ain't funny, baby. It ain't fucking funny. It ain't fucking funny. It ain't funny, baby. You, you don't hear laughing. He laughing. I got balls. I don't play with. I play with my balls. I don't. I don't play with other fucker. I don't. Play with, I, don't play with, I play the fuck out of shit out of baseball though, and basketball. I play this shit, but I won't watch it. I love to play it. I don't like to watch it. See, watching it is. A, I'm not having no fun watching it, but I'll play the fuck out of it though. If you ask me, I will play the fuck out. Of it. I was. I was. I had a baseball team and I was on a football team, and I, I do all that shit, but I don't watch it because it's boring. The only game I will watch is hockey and baseball. They're the only games I will watch, really. Hockey and baseball. And they say there's white boy games. I don't think they white boy games. Well, well in a way, they white, but I, I don't look at them like white boy games. Hockey is exciting. You ever go to see hockey live? That's some exciting shit to look at, dude. I swear to God, that's some exciting shit to look at. But I, I don't, I don't, I like boxing. You know, I like boxing. Saw all the fights HBO played uh, back in the day. Oh, I like all that fucking shit. In fact, um, we're going to get HBO also. We ain't going to get you Channel 48. We're going to get HBO. But that's in, that's in the future. Just so y'all know that. We're going to get HBO. For Let me get the fuck out of here. Let me get out of here, guys. I took too much of your time. We're going to do this again. This is a different Channel 48 because we talk, we, we talk, we, we tackle some uh, shit here. Then we don't. Then we didn't tackle our last conversation with Channel 48, and this is a little different, but it was really awesome. Yeah, this all we're gonna do it again. Mind your business, okay? And I know y'all don't like what's going on in the world today, but this is the this is uh, something you gotta play the cards that dealt in front of you. Look at your hand that's dealt in front of you. You gotta play that. Nobody else can play that but you. Just remember that. You ain't got to do shit in this world. If you do it, you want to do it. Unless you're under some kind of strain or some kind of um, uh, 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 communist, whatever, slavery, what the fuck, because people fucked up. Y'all know in general, in general, you make your decisions. Worry about what you feed in your head. Worry about what you put in your head. Pay attention to what you put in your head. Because what you put in your head, you're going to register out in your emotions. Just remember that. And I'll talk to everybody later. Have a nice evening.